We're continuing our coverage on the death of the American hero, Colin Powell. His death from COVID-19 complications happened after being fully vaccinated and it's fueling concerns about the benefits of the vaccine. Dr. Reed Tuxton is a co-founder of the Black Coalition Against COVID-19. He joins us now with insight and the push to get more people of color vaccinated. Welcome back to BNC. It's so good to see you. This is obviously sad news uh, that we're hearing about. Um, and it's unfortunate because some people, they are using his death as a reason not to get vaccinated. I've seen people on social media, you know, posting about this. What are your thoughts on that? Well, first and foremost, uh, as someone who's had the privilege of interacting with uh, General Powell multiple times over the years, uh, he is everything that people have said that he was in real life. He's the real deal. What he had, uh, and it's not releasing confidential information, it is known that he had a disease called multiple myeloma. The basis of this disease is that it that the cells, the called plasma cells, that are the elements that produce the antibodies that kill off the in, invaders like COVID, that he, those plasma cells in his body were not working. And in fact, he had a cancer of them. They, manip they produced too rapidly inside of the bone marrow, inside of his bone marrow, and they didn't work well to be able to fight off infections. As a result, we know that 45% of people with this disease will not uh, get an adequate response to our vaccines. So he was in an unusual situation. So let us be very clear. It would be an absolute shame and a damning uh, a tragedy for anybody to take the wonderful life and work of Colin Powell and use misinformation to suggest that we shouldn't get vaccinated. He had a very specific disease that makes it difficult for a vaccine to mount an adequate response. And that is why he was particularly susceptible to this disease, despite the fact that he was vaccinated a very unusual situation and one that does not apply to the average person walking around. Yeah, I'm sure he would not like it at all to know that people were using, you know, his death as a way to justify not getting a vaccine. But I want to hear about your interactions with him. Well, you know, fortunately, he was, as you have heard in your previous segment, a man who was engaged with social support working to find ways of helping young people through this America's Promise be engaged. And so he reached out to people that he knew that were in that space, people that were working in the community, community-based folks who were mounting campaigns that would bring value to our young people. And as a result, he would pull them into his orbit. One of the things that he was, and what we all need to be in this era of COVID and other challenges are lifelong learners. He brought people in who he felt were experts in areas and then engaged them intellectually to add value to what he was doing. He was in final analysis. He was not the kind of person with the ego that says, I know it all myself. He was smart enough to know that he needed to reach out to others and get the facts. In this case, for the COVID uh, pandemic we're going through, it is absolutely true that this vaccine absolutely works People who are not vaccinated can have a 10 times greater risk of dying from COVID than a fully vaccinated person. Those are the kind of things that Colin would bring people to, get the information, and then use it. He would never use information in a negative way. So he knew about the, your organization and he knew about the fight to get more Black people vaccinated? I'm not sure if in this latest part of his life, as he was struggling with this disease and another, that he was aware of what we were doing. But what he certainly was aware of was the disease. And what he was certainly aware of is the need for people to be responsible to each other. I think if I would just give you one particular very short point, some people, when there is a fire, will run away from the fire or stand around and, and eat popcorn. There are other people that run to danger and take care of it. Colin Powell was the kind of person that would run to danger. He's the kind of person that would be the one to do the right thing to protect others. He would not stand back and vomit misinformation, nor would he be ambivalent, sort of wondering, I'm going to take a wait and see what happens. He's a man of action. That's what we really need to take away, an action that protects other people, particularly vulnerable people, people in need. Who knew that it would turn out 
that he would be a vulnerable person and unfortunately because of his disease be highly vulnerable to a, to the to the covid pandemic and unfortunately the vaccines would not work well for someone who is in the very small category of people that he was in yeah he was in such a rare situation and again it's hard to believe he was actually 84 it seemed like he was younger than that but thank you dr tuxon we appreciate you joining us with your insights onto the COVID vaccine and of course your time that you were able to interact with General Powell. Take care.